Hello, Field School. Hope you all are doing well. This is another uh, weekly outdoor lesson, and uh, today we're going to be kind of reviewing what we did last week when we were all entomologists and looking for macro invertebrates in the Rogue River. You remember that we found quite a few of them, uh, and today we are going to discuss um, basically what, what do fish eat, what do trout eat on the Rogue River. Uh, this time of the year is a really exciting time of the year as far as bugs go, specifically bugs that are coming from river systems. Uh, from now until the end of summer, we see a lot of major bug activity hovering in the air around rivers. In fact, one specific bug, uh, mayflies, uh, one of the largest mayflies, the hex mayfly, hatches uh, sometime in the middle of June through July in the hot, muggy summertime. Uh, and they come from the mud and they mass congregate above the water in the thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's a pretty cool sight to be able to see. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit more about those bugs and, like I said, what the fish eat. So I hope you enjoy this weekly outdoor lesson, and uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, field school, let's talk about aquatic macroinvertebrates, specifically what that means for trout. So for most trout, even very large ones, most of their diet is made up of macroinvertebrates, or animals without backbones. The presence of aquatic invertebrates, such as insects, crustaceans, mollusks, snails, and worms, mean that there is an abundance of food and that the water is clean and healthy. We know that trout can only live in healthy waterways where there is plenty of trout food. Just like people, different trout like different foods. Trout eat almost any smaller animal, including insects and tiny fish. So trout love terrestrials, aquatic water animals, including small fish and flies. Some trout will eat or at least try anything in the water. This includes land animals that accidentally hop or fall into the stream or lake. Grasshoppers can make a big, tasty treat. A mouse can make a satisfying meal for any trout that can fit one in its mouth. Like other wild animals, trout feed on other aquatic animals, including water-dwelling insects, minnows, and crayfish. Some fish are cannibalistic and will eat smaller members of their own species. Trout get sick in polluted water, as do the aquatic animals they eat for food. It's important to keep rivers, lakes, and streams clean so that the insects, crayfish, and smaller fish can live in healthy, cool water. When the water gets polluted, insects and crayfish die, and so do the trout. You may have guessed by now that trout love to gobble up all kinds of flies, including stoneflies, mayflies, and caddisflies. Mayflies usually have three tails. Also, you can see their gills on their abdomen. They look like little bunches of hairs. Most mayfly larvae need really clean water to survive Almost any pollution at all will harm them. All stoneflies have two tails. Most of them have gills on their thorax around where their legs connect to their bodies. They look like little tufts of hair. Most stonefly cannot tolerate any pollution and need very clean water to survive. Most caddisfly larvae look like inchworms and build themselves cases or houses to live in. Different species build their cases with different materials. Some species use sticks, others use leaves, and some use sand or tiny pebbles. Many also spin nets, which they use to collect food from the stream. So just like the stonefly and the mayfly, caddisflies cannot tolerate water pollution and can only live in clear, clean water as well.